Good morning, Mike Brady with Generosity Wealth Management, a comprehensive, full-service wealth management firm headquartered right here in Boulder, Colorado, although I have clients in many different states. So today I wanted to ask a question that a client had of me. Uh, they asked, um, after reading the book, The Millionaire Next Door, they're like, Mike, in your over 20 years of meeting with clients, hundreds if not thousands, um, how have... Um, what are some of the characteristics that you've seen that are similar to those that have achieved their goals? People who perhaps 20 years ago you met and they stated what their intention was and then they were successful in uh, reaching their goals and then others that were not successful. And so uh, I want to answer that question here today. By the way, read that book, The Millionaire Next Door, because you're going to uh, find some habits that this book talks about that um, people with you know very... Uh, good balance sheets that have worked hard to, uh, for their net worth, that they have uh, many similarities together. And so that's really kind of what I'm talking about here today, but just more of from my uh, anecdotal uh, and observational experience. So the first thing is they treat their finances, their goals, their retirement goals, etc., as a business. They um, have a good conversation with themselves and with me and with their, their spouse and, and perhaps their family about where they want to go and they have a plan, they have a goal, they have a plan and they review it periodically and that could be um, you know within the year, maybe annually, maybe every other year just to track where it is that they're going and they also understand the relationship between income and expenses saving and investing I mean you've seen me do this before this is your income and this is your saving or your expenses excuse me and the difference between the two the income has to be greater than the expenses it's that simple and if you don't know if your expenses are equal to your savings or if they're even greater then that's the first uh, warning light uh, on the old dashboard that uh, you might not be um, setting yourself up for success. So no matter how busy a client is, whether they're a doctor, a lawyer, a business owner, with a family, with a bunch of kids, the people that I've found have been very successful, treat their life like a business. And I have to say, one indication of that is they, a lot of times, return paperwork very quickly. They have prioritized up all dealings with their finances and reaching their particular goals. And that could be educational goals for their kids as well. That could be providing for um, older members of their family, you know, etc. Whatever those goals are, they have made a real priority. They're organized and they address it um, accordingly and in a timely fashion. Uh, another thing is they're, they're engaged. They review paperwork, they ask good questions, and um, um, they're, they're more engaged, and that's one thing that I found is uh, common amongst those that reach their goals. And then the last thing is um, a little self-serving. I'm just going to pre-apologize on that one, but they have good advisors, and uh, they have a, an estate planning attorney, they have a CPA, and they usually have a... Um, a good financial advisor, and hopefully that's me, of course, that's my observation, but they listen to them, they ask questions, uh, there's a true dialogue, a relationship, a collaborative relationship, and they uh, have a tendency to, to follow that advice, um, particularly when all of those uh, members are working together, agree on what um, what you know how to go forward um, and and they have good advisors and uh, they they recognize the value that they're bringing so those are some things that I have found in my over 20 years of working with people and I can many times tell um, when starting off when I meet someone who doesn't become a client that they whether they have the right habits or not just by the fact of whether or not I ask them for for the data to do a financial plan and they won't they can't even Put, pull that together. I really question at that time how serious they are about their goals in order to get a plan and then, of course, to review it. So anyway, that's it for this week. Mike Brady, Generosity Wealth Management, 303-747-6455. If you're my client, I love you. If you're not my client, I would love to talk with you and uh, hopefully we can uh, both love each other and help each other out. So anyway, 303-747-6455. Have a great week. Thanks. Bye-bye.